as And little Ron was sitting next to Ronnie's mum there. That's Maria there. She must be very proud of Seven. what she's watching here. But he still has to win this frame. Fourteen. Well, he's reluctant to plan the black here, really, because it's not a great pack to go into from the black. That's 50. why he's going to try and go into from the pink, probably, to push the red towards the right-hand corner. He's left the angle to do that. But it really does need to be played at pace to get one moving out. <laughs> and that's what he did, but unfortunately, he's knocked it safe. I mean, that tournament, pot success rate, as we show you the pink cannon not working out. 93%. That is going some. And we've got a little bit of noise coming from the yeah. microphone. It's a radio, somewhere. Dennis, isn't that something? <laughs> Gremlins once again in the crucible. Didn't sound like a Kasabian track, did it, that one? Ronnie O'Sullivan, 21. <laughs> <laughs> She's there. Well, surge is there, and I'll tell you what Ali Carter could do with a little surge here. <laughs> oh, he's caught the brown. Which is okay, but it means that Ronnie's got an easier safety return. May well, decide to play this cut, Dennis, the one that's in between the black and the pack, that will cut into the right-hand corner. If he can miss the red that's on the cushion, he'll play it. I don't think he can miss that red, though, so he's changing his mind. He still played it, but I didn't think he could miss that red. Very, very fortunate. Well, I'm just wondering if that red has nudged it out a little bit. It was safe at one stage until the red just nudged it. Can he get through to that one to cut it in the middle? Oh, it must be tight. So he had a bit of a result there, another fraction, and he could have potted that. Yeah, it's a long, long way back now, and He's lost a little bit of heart, Ali, but uh, it's not over yet. Decided the red's a little bit too risky in the middle, can't really get onto a colour nicely, so just playing the cue ball back into the board, but the white's very close. John Virgo had to get that little shout, wouldn't he? Where's the cue ball going? Just coming up to the nine hours for the match. The green's in an awkward spot now for the safety return. That's why he's choosing an alternate.
might be able to just get down towards the brown here with this. say Ronnie's got the pace of this table because for I don't know how many times now Ali's glued to that ball cushion yes the green's the problem ball again here isn't it getting back into ball the green's just in the way for the natural angle oh it's got around the back of it but there's a gap there's a gap for this long red he may take this one on Well, if he does take it on, you'll have to get a little bit of action on because he's only got two choices to screw back or run through for the black. So it'll be interesting to see how he plays this. Cued across that one, but once again, I think he's got away with it. That red's going to finish safe. And it's also blocked by the yellow. Ronnie's long game this week has been tremendous, but I can only think that's uh, getting very close to winning the World Championship that's made him miss that one by so far. Ronnie can't quite believe it. Mind you, I detected the, the red jumping quite a bit there when we showed that slow-mo. So maybe it was a, a kick. Let's just have a look at the red as he makes contact with it jumped off the bed of the table there I don't think he can get through to the potty oh, he's playing the one on the cushion he's just swinging it round oh, the red to the right of the pack will pot in the middle I just wonder whether Ronnie will be tempted with this one he's had a good look at it he knows that the path of the cue ball is going very close to the red that's nearest the blue. So it would be on yellow, blue or pink should it go in. It's a risky one. Oh, it's there. What a shot that is. What a shot that is, by the way. Well, the chance is now there for Ronnie O'Sullivan. There was only just enough room past the red. Available in the right hand corner. If it is, this could be frame, match, and championship over. Nine. If it's not, he'll have to play up for the blue again. Ten. Didn't matter this time which side of the blue he got because there's a red up to the left of the brown that he can play onto. Two ways of getting on that red. As we swing in with this camera angle, it just shows you he's the wrong side of the blue, but he can get on that red near the brown. Beautifully played. Well, the next two shots are key. Just got to get rid of that red to the right of the black, and that could be Ali Carter watching. I know Sullivan possible frame match and championship 16. clearance.
Well, he's won it on three occasions. 21. This is definitely looking like a fourth. That magnificent World Championship trophy. Ali Carter has got close. He's been in one final, but who was it that beat him in that final? It was Ronnie O'Sullivan, 2008, the year he made a maximum break here, Ali Carter. Uh, He's still undefeated in finals, should have gone to win it, Ronnie. He's been in three finals, won them all. This is the fourth. And he has really kept his focus. That's been the main thing with Ronnie O'Sullivan throughout this year's 29. championship. 17 days is a long spell. He's had Third. his good friend Damien Hurst with him. and I think he's helped to keep him focused along with Dr. Steve Peters. 37. How many more world titles? Well, Ronnie Jr., how many more titles could your dad win, Ronnie, do you think? 38. It's been a privilege to watch this year's World Championship, and it's been a privilege to watch Ronnie O'Sullivan the way he's played. This has been a tremendous championship. Not quite over the winning line yet. One more 45. red needed, to be sure. Yeah, Ali Carter just looking on there. Deserves a lot of credit. That comeback <laughs> against John Trump. But the crowd now realise that it's all over. Peter Ebden applauding Ronnie, and his man put up a great show, but, but he wasn't quite good enough 54. to compete against the most naturally gifted player in the game has seen. He gave a little kiss up to Ronnie Jr. there. There's no better feeling in the world than uh, walking around the table when you know 61. you've won the world championship. Sullivan. It's going to be emotional here in the Crucible Theatre. What a performance from Ronnie O'Sullivan. Three times a world champion. It's now four and Ronnie O'Sullivan becomes the 2012 Betfred.com world champion. Well done Ronnie and well done to Ali Carter.